So in this video, we're going to talk about how to uh, publish your site. To do that, you would need to make sure that you're on a one of the Wix's hosting plans and that you have a domain connected. So once your site is ready to go live um, and you want to start accepting payments and accepting bookings for your events, what you want to do is upgrade, first of all, to uh, your payment plan, and then you can also connect your domain. You can also connect your domain first um, or at least purchase a domain if you don't have one and then upgrade your plan. Uh, afterwards but you would need to upgrade your plan if you wanted to use a custom domain so for the domain if you don't already have one what you want to do is come to the dashboard and click connect your own domain and you want to select the domain that you want um, so if you don't already have one then you just look for a domain that suits you and if you have one you would just search for the domain name that you already own um, so for example we'll call this tourism And you can see, so tourism website is already taken. So if you've typed in a uh, website that you already uh, own, then you want to just click, yes, I own this domain. Um, and then if you haven't already uh, upgraded your site yet, you can still buy the domain. So for example, if, uh, so that domain is taken, if you wanted to buy a domain from one of the suggestions, for example, this one here, what you want to do is click get it. So it'll ask you to uh, purchase a payment plan, but if not, you can still buy the domain for now. So we can just click buy domain. And then you will need to continue with the purchase. So when you buy a domain, you're really registering a domain for a certain number of years. So in this one, you have the option of one year, two year, or three years. It just means after the uh, registration period, you would need to renew it again. Um, after, so for example, if you selected two years, then after two years, it'll ask, it'll expire, and you will need to renew the domain again. Um, you will get an email, uh, just uh, just coming up to the expiry date, and just to be mindful that once it's 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 expired, then anyone can purchase it. So it's just something to be aware of. But you'd select the date and then, or you select the registration period and then just click continue. And then it'll just ask you for some contact information um, and things like that. And then once you fill in your contact info, it'll ask you to choose a privacy protection. So depending on which one you choose, it could add uh, more pricing. So basic protection, um, it just means whoever, when you purchase the domain, will people be able to see who has purchased the domain? So if with the full privacy protection, um, it'll hide your name, email address, um, phone number, country, uh, organization, things like that. Basic protection, um, it'll just uh, le uh, leave out the country, state, and organization. So it's up to you which uh, you would want. Um, full privacy is obviously another seven pounds. And then once you decide that, you just click continue, and then it'll ask you for your payment information, so then you can start paying for the, the domain. Yeah, once you have the domain purchased, it'll then connect to the Wix domain purchase, and then you would just need to select a uh, Wix hosting plan so that you can use your custom domain. So if we come back into the dashboard, and then, so right now we're on the free plan. Um, so what you want to do is click upgrade to start selling. And you can see there's different kind of um, website plans. Just to make you aware, if you are accepting payments online through PayPal, Apple Pay, uh, Wix payments, you would then need to make sure you go into the business and e-commerce plans. The basic website plans, um, you can take bookings and things like that, but you wouldn't be able to, uh, to allow people to pay for those bookings. So you want to select business and e-commerce plans. Um, and you can see you've got three plans. You've got business basic, business unlimited, and business VIP. Um, the difference between most of these is just the storage space. Um, so business VIP would just be, you know, way more storage space than, than the unlimited and the basic. And also with the VIP, you would get priority customer care. And, but even with the unlimited and the basic, you get 24 seven customer care. So this is still very good. If you wanted to, if you were having issues with uh, Wix, accepting payments or even building the website, um, you can submit a ticket to Wix and they can phone you back or email you back um, and their uh, customer care is very good. So even if you don't get the priority customer care, you, you can still get the 24 seven, you might need to wait a little bit longer, um, but they'll still help you out. Um, so between that, then you can just decide how much storage space that you want. Um, 
but you'll still get the online payments and you'll still be able to get your uh, custom domain as well. And none of the plans feature any Wix ads. So um, yeah, it's up to you what, uh, which plan that you want. But once you've selected a plan, um, you will then need to select a billing cycle for that plan as well. Um, you can do yearly, two years, you can do it on a monthly basis or three years. And then finally, it'll just ask you to complete your purchase um, just by for your payment information. And then once you've uh, paid for that, then you can start connecting your domain to your Wix website and everything will be hosted on Wix and that'll be your site ready to go for, for users to book events, view pages on your website and things like that.